Hello, I'm Dr. Anne Baldwin, Research Professor of Physiology from the University of Arizona. And last semester, for the first time, I taught a class to physiology undergraduates called Physiology of Mind-Body Interactions. Unlike most courses which involve a lot of lectures, this course only involves one-third lectures. You spend some time evaluating and discussing research papers published in the area, and you spend the rest of the time in the lab, in pairs, working on assigned projects and also developing your own particular research project on mind-body interactions. In Physiology 415, we focus on the autonomic nervous system and the endocrine system because these are the major routes through which the mind and the body interact. We concentrate on the heart because the heart acts as a relay station, responding to messages from the brain via the autonomic nervous system and broadcasting this information all over the body, back to the brain and beyond. Every one of your emotions and responses is encoded in a signal from your heart called heart rate variability. In my experience, students learn best by doing, not just by listening. So in the lab, you measure your own heart rate variability and see how it responds to different stimuli. And you even learn how to control it. This is the ultimate in personalized learning. You also learn how changing your pattern and heart rate variability at will affects your cognitive processes and emotions, and even what you choose to eat. And Physiology 415 includes a field trip. Yes, I mean literally out in the field, working with horses at the University of Arizona campus farm. You monitor your heart rate variability pattern on site using a portable biofeedback device and work towards a state of autonomic balance using techniques that you've learned in class. And then you see how the horses respond. The most important difference between human and horse brains is that much of the human brain is used for fine motor and language development, whereas most of the horse's brain is used for analyzing information received from the environment. Horses have to be ultra-sensitive to environmental signals in order to survive in the wild. If a horse chooses to approach you when you're at the farm, that indicates they are receiving information from you that you are safe, you're in control of your emotions, and you're unlikely to harm them. You'll find that by learning how to control your own heart rate variability and to achieve autonomic balance, you'll influence not only your own physical and psychological health, but even the behavior of those around you. If you're interested in learning what your brain, heart, and gut are saying to each other and how you can tweak their chatter to your advantage, I will be teaching Physiology 415 again in this spring semester. Thank you.